Sweet, sweet, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the League and Nation Hybrid Squad Building Challenge for the cheapest possible. All I ask in return is if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscription button. It's free, it's easy. Help me help you with daily squad building challenge guides, trading tips with the trade to glory, individual trading tips, and more FIFA 18 content guides. The overall reward for the uh, squad building challenge League and Nation Hybrid is 12,000 coins, but you do get some pretty good packs individually with the squad building challenges uh, within it. Now, I do want to warn you guys that with Tough and Hybrid Master, you need loyalty, okay? There's no way to do these without loyalty. So, for Tough and Hybrid Master, you need to do loyalty, and you can use the loyalty glitch, obviously, for that. So, we're going to go and start off with the Puzzler, and in this squad building challenge, you're going to need three nations, two leagues, a maximum of four players from the same nation, and a maximum of six players from the same league. So, we're going to go ahead and start this off by mostly using the non-rare cards, because obviously, you can get non-rare cards for very, very cheap, especially at the beginning of the game. So, 70 Seven rating. We're going with Weidenfeller at goalkeeper. He's going to be our first card at 400 coins. Burnett's the most expensive player in the squad, I believe, and he's going to be 1,200 coins. Then we're going with Heinz at center back and Naldo at right center back. Heinz is going to be 550 coins, and then uh, Naldo is going to be 500 coins there. Then we're going with Michael Macedo at right back, another rare card. He's going to be the last rare card of the uh, squad. Then we're going with Hoger at center mid. Hoger as well is 750, which isn't too bad. Our center attacking mid is Kamarasa. And then we're going with Guillerme at right center defensive mid. So we got this guy at uh, center attacking mid for 500, got him for 500 there. Then at right wing, we are going to go with Suseita. And then at left wing, we're going with Bittencourt. At striker, we're going to go with, uh, I believe that's Pedro Leon and uh, Sergio, Sergio Leon. And as you guys can see, it's 100 chemistry, no loyalty required. You don't even need everybody in position because we've got the hyperlink here. The two leagues are kind of split in half throughout the, the squad. We've got the left half with the League of Bundesliga, and then the right half of the squad is going to be the La Liga. And then we also go with all German over here, except for we've got one Spanish player. And then up here, we've got Spanish players. And then uh, down here, we've got um, the Brazilian. So you can see how this ends up working. You get a 25K pack for this one individually. So let's go ahead and submit that. And we're gonna move on to intermediate. Intermediate is a little bit more difficult, but it's still pretty easy considering you don't need loyalty. You do get a 25K pack plus 1,500 coins. So you need five nations, three leagues, a maximum of three players from the same nation, and a maximum of four players from the same league. And then this one is also pretty cheap. Uh, as the puzzler was really cheap, this one's going to be pretty cheap. The tough one is also not that expensive, but then the last one is kind of expensive, and I'll show you guys why. Campagna is going to be our goalkeeper here. He is from the Argentinian league, but he's also Uruguayan. Then we've got Antonelli at left back. He's going to be uh, our first Cauchoa player, and we got like a triangle of Cauchoa over there. Then we're going with Rodriguez. He's a rare card. He is going to help with the rating for 900 coins, and he is Argentinian in the Argentinian League. Then we've got him getting a strong link with a River Plate center back, and then that River Plate center back is going to link on a hyperlink with Perez in the midfield. Perez is the most expensive player in the squad. I was able to get him for 1,200 coins, but... Um, he is a little bit more expensive on buy now because I got that on bid. He's like 2,000 coins right now. Then we're going with Jonchka at uh, right back, and then we're also going to have sort of like a... Oh, I'm messing up here. Uh, we're going to have Jonchka at right back, and we're, ha we're going to have like a uh, triangle of uh, Bundesliga on this side as well. So the left mid is going to be Spinaloza. He gets a strong link with Antonelli, and then Gagliardini is going to be our other center mid. They don't need to be hyperlinks over here. They can just be strong links with each other. Then at right, uh, right mid, we're going with Hoffman. At striker, we're going with Stindl. And then at center mid, we are going with Mönchengladbach center mid, Zakaria. Now, as you can see, it completes all of the requirements. But you don't have to go with Zakaria. I got him for 900. There are other midfielders from uh, Mönchengladbach that you can actually go with right here. But the only issue is you cannot go with another German here. So we need to go with somebody from Mönchengladbach at center mid. There are, I believe, gold cards that are a little bit more expensive. So if this inflates in price, you can go with them. But Zakaria is who I use because he was cheaper, and it's going to have all of the requirements. So, as I said, you get a 25k pack and 1,500 coins, so pretty good deal there. Then we're moving on to Tough, and it does live up to the name. It is pretty difficult. You need six nation and six leagues, a maximum of two players from each, and then 80 uh, rating and 89 chemistry. As I said earlier, you need loyalty for this one. Then... 
We'll go Foster at Goalkeeper. We want to go with the high-rated non-rares because those are much cheaper than the high-rated rare cards. You can get rare cards that are like 76 and 77 rated, but once you hit like 80, 81 rated on the rare cards, most of them are going over 1,000 coins, while you can still get these non-rare 80 rated for about 550. Then at left back, we're going with Santon, and Rugani is going to be our center back. So you get a strong link between them, and then we can't go with any more Italians or any more from the couch or so we're not going to get any more links with him. So Shawcross, we're going to go ahead and get the link with Foster here in uh, Goalkeeper. Shawcross is only 450 coins. Rugani is going to be 700 coins for you. And then Santon is going to be 500. So very, very cheap so far. Our right back is going to be Pereira from Porto. He's going to get a hyperlink with the right winger, who I'll add in a minute. Then at left mid, we're going with a little bit of a higher rated card to get this to 80 rating. It's going to be Gaetan because he's only 1,200 coins as an 83 rated card, which is ridiculously cheap. Then we're going to go with Mario Gutza at center mid here. Gutza is 1,100 coins. And then Dahud from Dortmund gets a hyperlink with Gutza, and he has 500 coins. Then at right mid, we are going to go with Hernani. Hernani gets the hyperlink there. That means that Hernani is going to be on full cam, even though he has two red links next to him. Then at striker, we've got Vieto, who gets a hyperlink with... Um, with Gaetan, and that's a very important hyperlink because it gets both of those players to full chemistry, and you need that hyperlink right there. Then our striker is going to be Briand. It, that's because he's from a different league and a different country than we used in the rest of the squad. He's only 600 coins, so you can pretty much go with any 78-rated striker here as long as it's not from a league or country that you've used already. So we uh, threw him up there because he was relatively cheap. As you guys can see, we do have 92 chemistry, so we have three extra chemistry, but I did the loyalty glitch on everything, so you need eight loyalty uh technically on the squad so let's go ahead and submit that on this one we get a mega pack and the last time we had a mega pack we packed Mane. so hopefully we can get something good in this one as well then we're moving on to hybrid master where we need nine nations we need seven leagues 82 rating and 86 chemistry you'll need every single player in this squad on loyalty no exceptions then we're going to go with Berkey at goalkeeper here. He's going to help with the rating, and given the fact that he's only 1,900 coins, I think that's a great deal. At uh, left center back, we're going to go with Ogbana. He's going to add an Italian that's not from the Calcioa. We needed that, and the only other option is a guy from the Russian League, but he's not high enough rated, so you have to go with Ogbana here. Then we're going to go with Mexer at center back. He is going to be 450 coins, and then we're going to go with Toprak. Toprak is a big part of this squad because, firstly, he gets the strong link with Berkey, and also he gets a weak link with the right midfielder, which is um, Toruk, or Tor, who we'll add in a minute. Soriano is going to be um, the left midfielder here. He is 2,000 coins, so he's not very cheap at all, and there's a lot of players in this squad who are a little bit of coins. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be the most expensive squad out of the League and Nation hybrids. So we're going to go with Soriano there. Then we're going into the midfield where they are a little bit expensive. You've got Ganelons, who's 1,200, which isn't that bad. But then you've got Strutman, who's an 84 rated, and he's going to be 4,000 coins for you. Then at right mid, we're going with Tor. And as I said, that's important because he does get a weak link with Toprak. That gets Toprak on full chemistry. Then we can also get Tor on full chemistry by going with the right winger, Charisma. Charisma gets the strong link there, and then Charisma's on full cam as well. Then at striker, we're going with simply a card that is high rated, very cheap, and from a league and nation that we haven't used. So that's 1,000 coins for Jonas up top. Then at left wing, we're going to go with Cherishev. Remember that you need everybody in position, so make sure to get the left wing to left, uh, left mid to left winger card. And make sure to get the CDM to center mid card for, I believe, it is Gonalons there. As you guys can see, it does complete all of the requirements. So let's go ahead and submit it. You get a 50,000 coin pack, which is going to be the best pack I've opened in FIFA 18 so far. So let's go ahead and head into it. I got the 12,000 coins for completing the squad building challenge, and we've got four packs to open. I'll be uploading this to both the League of Nation hybrid squad building challenge, uh, cheapest solution, as well as the Trading to Glory episode 5. So if you haven't seen the other video, then go ahead and watch it. So we're going to start off with the cheaper packs, which are the 25k packs. So that's pretty good. We got two 25ks, a 35k, and then the big 50k at the end. I started this squad building challenge at about, I believe, 98,000 coins, and we're down to 50k. So it's going to take about 40 to 50k to complete it. Then we get the 12,000 coins back. Hopefully we can get 40k from these packs. That means we're making profit. So let's go ahead and start with the first 25k pack. Give me that board drop. Give me that board drop at least. Come on. Come on. Is it a board drop? It is not. It's going to be a lower rated rare. It's going to be right back. Is that Vershalka? 
Vershalko, yes, Vershalko is going to be our first pack. That's not a very good pull at all. Hopefully, we can get some better luck in the next packs. The next pack is a rare gold pack. These are the 25k packs that actually cost more FIFA points. I'm not sure why they have the same amount of coins, but have different uh, prices and FIFA points. But ultimately, it does mean it is a better pack than the last one. So I have high expectations. I'm hoping for at least a boardwalk, uh, a boardwalk, a board drop, that is, in this pack. Come on, there it is. There's the board drop. What is it? Switzerland, Berkey. Berkey, that's one of the cheapest 84s in the game, but it is one of the cards that we just used in the squad building challenge. So at least we get the coins back for Berkey. He goes for, like, what was it, 1,200? Uh, no, he went for, like, 2,000 coins. That's one of the lowest-priced uh, 84-rated cards. Unfortunately, we can get, like, Mane again as an 84-rated card, but we also get Musanda and Tadic. Both of those guys will sell for a decent amount. I mean, a couple thousand coins, but nothing too great yet. We're down to the last two packs, and we have not had much yet, but these are the two best packs. These are the packs that we've been waiting for, especially that 50k pack. We're going to save that for next. Firstly, we're going to open this mega pack. Please give me another board drop, maybe a walkout. I've not packed a walkout yet. It's going to be another board drop. There we go. Oh, my That last pack, very, very disappointing. Thought I got Ronaldo, but we've got one more pack. It's the biggest pack I've opened yet. We could get a walkout. Like, there's probably a 95% chance we get at least a board drop. So I'm hoping for something to get our coins back. Because right now, we've probably only gotten about 20,000 coins back. So we're needing at least, like, 25k. Maybe, like, 20k to get our coins back. 25k would be profit from this pack. So here we go. It all comes down to this. 50,000 coins, and it's opening. Please, please something big. It's a board drop. It's Brazil. It's a striker. It's Jonas. Well, that was not good pack luck. At least we did have some good pack luck in the hybrid nation. If you guys enjoyed this video, if it helped you out, be sure to drop a like. I would greatly appreciate that. Let's see if we can hit 269 likes on this video. And if you have any sympathy for my pack luck, drop a like on it. And let me know what you guys get in your packs in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ow.